There are several ways to sell a package. You can sell one in person through your Square Web dashboard, through our mobile app, or online on your Square Online site or via payment links. To sell on web, first I'll navigate to the menu and select Customer Directory. I want to sell a package to Carolina, so first I'll select her from my customer list. Then I'll scroll down to the Packages section in her profile, and then click Sell Package. This will open up my virtual terminal, add Carolina as a customer, and filter the items I see to just show my packages. I'll select the three pack of 60 minute deep tissue massages, and then take payment. Carolina is paying in cash, so I'll select this option. Here I'm prompted to make sure I have an email and phone number for Carolina, which I can easily add before finishing the transaction. Once I return to Carolina's profile and refresh the page, I'll see the package that I just sold here in her account. I can also sell packages in person through the Appointments Point of Sale app. Once I've set up my packages on web, they'll be available in the Checkout tab under Library in the mobile app. I simply tap on the Packages section, select the package I want to sell, Add the customer purchasing the package, and after tapping charge, I can take any standard form of payment to complete the transaction. If I return to the customer's profile, I can see the package I just sold available for them to redeem at their next appointment. There are two ways to sell packages online. First, we'll walk through selling on your Square Online site. Then we'll talk about payment links. From your packages library, ensure that you've toggled on the ability to sell your package through your Square Online site. From the top left navigation dropdown, select Online. Once this editor launches, Select the option to customize or edit your site. I want to first create a page with just my packages and link to it from the top of my site. I'll select my site header and then edit links. I'll add a navigation link to a category page that contains just items I've categorized with the label package. I'll then save that change with the link now available in the three bar menu icon on my mobile page. I then want to add packages to my booking page. From the drop down, I'll select appointments. Looking at my site, I'd like to add packages in a section between my service list and location information. I'll select add section and then use the featured items widget. I have some options for how I want my packages to be organized. I'll try this style and then add it to my site. I'll drag it up so that it appears in the right spot on my page and then I'll click select items to pick what I want to include. Here I see the four packages I already created. I'll select them all, then click save. I want to change the order in which they appear, so I'll drag these two to where I want them. I also want to update the name of this section to just call it Packages. Lastly, I like how my booking page looks, so I'll change it to be my site homepage and the first thing visitors see when they arrive. Then I'll publish my changes, which are instantly visible on my site. The new packages section looks great. I love the large images and product information just below them. And along the header of my site, I can see the link to the dedicated packages page I'd created earlier. 
When my customers click on one of the packages, they can see the description I drafted earlier and easily add the item to the cart. When customers are ready to check out, they can review their cart and continue to payment. Customers can pay with Square Pay, Google Pay, Apple Pay on iOS devices, as well as Cash App Pay and Afterpay if you have these options enabled for your business. The last option for selling packages is using payment links. These are individual links to a specific item that you can post online, text to a customer, or add to a website. To access these links, just click on the package you want to sell and scroll to the bottom of the page. Here you'll see an option to copy the link as well as several options to share the payment link. In this case, I'll text one of my recent customers who mentioned he was interested in buying this specific package. After closing out the page, I'll see that the link has been sent to Omar and I can add a short note as well. The link will take customers to a dedicated checkout page where they can complete their purchase. Once a package has been sold online, we'll use the payment details to match it to a customer in the directory or create a new customer if needed.